there is a dream for life science students when they are pursuing plus 2 and after plus 2 they want to go for mbbs and if you are going to do mbbs then aims delhi is the best option that like as we all know because that's the place where you can get state of the art facilities to do mbbs but not everyone can do that not everyone can afford it so afterwards after doing graduation and masters if you still want to pursue your course your life your career on the medical research then still you have an option to do phd in aims new delhi and this is all about how to take admission in aims because aims normally take uh, candidates uh, with the help of the entrance examination there is rigorous steps and also there are interviews and everything so what will be this aims entrance examination how to prepare for aims entrance examination for any life science discipline or from any other uh, medicinal discipline uh, medical discipline that is bams bhms as well as uh, any of this other life science streams like microbiology biotechnology or any other subjects so if you from this background and if you want to know how to apply for aims new delhi what is the scheme of exam for aims new delhi and how to get a chance uh, in aims new delhi then this video is just for you stay tuned and watch the video completely all right so now that time when you have a dream to go inside aiims aims delhi and to do phd and to do msc and all these things so we'll be talking about all india institute of medical sciences aims new delhi aims phd entrance test and let's look at the properties of this exam why do you choose this to get admission in aims new delhi for phd in medical sciences courses offered phd in life sciences and phd in medical sciences in all different streams of medical sciences now application release month is normally february for january session and july for july session so because there are two different sessions every year entrance date is march first week for january session and july for july session result date march end for the january session and july end for the july session july end or august startings eligibility candidates holding msc other than msc in nursing mtech degree and bams will be eligible for non medical qualification category MSc in distance learning course is not acceptable remember if you are doing MSc from a distance course it will be not accepted here candidate having eligibility under the non medical category should have at least 60% marks in the last eligibility entrance examination or qualified examinations so think about it if you belong to MBBS then you can do the PhD in any kind of medical stream that's a separate story but we are not going to focus on that because we know you are not mbbs so we'll be focusing on msc and not only msc but bams okay bachelor of ayurvedic medicine and surgery those people also will be falling to the same category they need to acquire the 60% marks as an eligibility criteria for this uh, examination age limit as per ugpg rule for 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 phd test it's obviously 28 years for general category application fees that goes like for general and obc 1500 plus transaction charges for sc st 1200 plus transaction charges these are the two different things that you need to know now let's talk about the selection procedure and exam the mode of exam is in the online mode that is in cbt mode the language uh, that they use here in this case the language of the paper is in english okay duration will be 90 minute for stage 1 and stage 2 type of question objective type number of questions stage 1 and stage 2 combined 70 70 questions 70 stage 1 it will be 30 questions in stage 2 it will be 40 questions number of questions in stage 3 Uh, from the list uh, in selection two, three times as many candidate as number of the seats advertised will be called. So normally, you know, there are multiple stages: stage one, stage two, and stage three. If you qualify stage one and stage two together, from that, uh, if there are only let's say fifty seats, they will ask for one fifty candidates, thrice the number of seat. So basically, one in a third chance of qualifying the exam, qualifying the interview after you qualify stage one and stage two exam. Okay. uh these marks will be added uh, to the final marks of 1 and 2 so so the interview will be there that is clinical practical a lab based assessment that that will carry 20 marks and then the stage 1 stage 2 as well as this practical marks will be added together to make the final merit list and the marking scheme every correct answer is one mark incorrect answer minus 1/3 minus 1 by 3 unanswered uh zero not answered zero examination center is only in the delhi ncr so these are the details about the aims examination so you may think like it's difficult but 
go for it if you don't have you know csa net as a regular basis then obviously go for it it's a prestigious institute and you will be in uh, touch with uh, some good research people there so go with that uh, need to qualify stage 1 stage 2 as well as need to do well in say 3 because all these three things will come together to give you a merit list okay All right so i believe we have a clear idea about aims new delhi entrance examination examination scheme age limit and uh, the negative marking the exam pattern and all these details so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye